Yeah, you can just feel the buzz in this city all day long, and we are seconds away now for this opening face-off. The Predators are going to start with the puck after taking the opening draw. Here's a shot! And we got to stop and just the puck sails over the glass. Yoshi's known for his wheel zone ability, which is his skating speed to create scoring chances. Dunn's a great defender who can disrupt the opposition and even help his teammates generate chances from the back end. Now, as I send it back upstairs, I'll be watching out for one of these players to give their team a chance to win tonight. Big hit on the play, and there's the whistle, as it looks like the pane of glass is broken. Well, the good thing is, James, that the glass doesn't shatter like it used to, and they can just replace the pane, but they'll have to do that because everything is about safety first. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Nashville's got a hold of the puck. Slick feed. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Sends the feed in front, and that doesn't go as it's off a stick. Tries to feed it over to Yossi. Denies him! Grubauer is dialed in and anticipating the play so effectively, making a huge save from a dangerous spot on the ice. Play whistle dead, penalty coming up. Well, he's gonna get the slashing call here, James, and it's a stick infraction. What that means is you're in a vulnerable spot. Why? Your opponent has gained position on you. Our first look tonight at their power play unit. An opportunity here to go up by one on the power play. You know they've worked on this in practice. It's something you do, your repetitions. This is what prepares you to be big in these moments. Scores! And they capitalize with the extra player on the ice, and it's a power play goal. While using the advantage of having extra ice available to them, James, that's why their most skilled players are on the ice. That one's executed to perfection. Well, power play face-offs in the Ozone. This is exactly what you love. Coaches love to draw it up and you work on it in practice. This was executed perfectly. The Predators are on the board quickly in this one and a nice start here, the way that they've been moving the puck around. Well, a really great start for them, James. It's all about getting everyone into the game, establishing some pressure and finding a way to get on the board. They do just that. Now they've established a one nothing lead. It's about holding it and pushing for more now. trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. You know it's a hard shot when the goaltender gets a big piece of it, but it still trickles in. Lots of time left in this period. We got a tie game. Seattle's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone face-off. Quick feed to Wenver. A shot! Nashville's got control of the puck. Novak's moving it ahead. Nashville's in on the offensive attack now. He to the middle! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Still lots of time left here in this frame. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Grabs the puck. Moves it on over to Burakovsky. And he's ridden off the puck. Nashville's got a hold of it along the wall. And he slides it quickly to Barry. The Predators will play it in their own end. Moves it to Borgen. And now he moves it quickly to Schwartz. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Takes the feed from the wing. From the point, they take control of it. Looks to set up at the point now. Stop that one. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Moments away from the faceoff, let's get back to the action. Won the face off, and now let's see what they can do. Tremendous stop! Right to signaling a goal! It, it looked like he had it, but it looks like they're signaling a goal now! Well, I really like the way they moved the puck 
around to wait for the right time to be able to move that puck for the one-timer in that low slot area. He didn't have much time to get it off, but he got some wood on it and buried it. The Kraken have gone up by one, and I like their game here so far tonight, Cheryl. Yeah, and now with the lead, you know that you're setting the tempo. You're really starting to dictate the play, but it needs to be a consistent effort now. One is not enough to be out front to get complacent. Oh, what a hit! He sacrificed his money to make the play! The cliche in hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical and really set the tone, and that's what he was doing right there. McCann's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. Well, when you're looking for the equalizer, it's tough to take a penalty and play shorthanded, James. you got to find a way to get to even strength so you can generate some offense. Seattle's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. Seattle's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Reads it perfectly, breaking up the play. And a successful clearing attempt. Shot! And that one's denied! There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Veneers will look to win possession here on the faceoff and try to continue this power play on the right note. The Predators win the draw. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. We got a penalty coming up here. Whistle blown, stopping the play. Well, when you're looking for a goal, being shorthanded is not ideal. You're also killing valuable time where you can be pressing when you're peaking. Seattle's got a five on three and lots of time on their side. What an opportunity, a long five on three year, and this can turn the momentum, switch the entire game in their favor. They have to find a way to execute. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Seattle's gained possession along the boards. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Everly. Cuts into the paint, and he comes up with it. This is an incredible push post to post, James, but I think that he has read the tendency of his opponents extremely well. He knew where this puck was going, and he was ready for it. The Kraken have gained possession off the wall. How did he stop that one? Here we go, look at this. They are really a fire to squeeze now in the offensive end. Over to Tobin. Makes the save. And the G comes up with it. The Kraken have gained control of the puck along the wall. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. The Predators will kill off a few extra seconds now. And the puck clears the zone. Picked up along the wall by Schultz. Seattle's got a hold of the puck. Burakowski's got it against the boards. Nashville's got the puck along the wall. Grabbed along the boards by Novak. Poked away at center by Alexiak. Jostling for the puck, and it's knocked away. And he takes the pass. Comes up with the stop. Loves on stick handling in his own zone. Moves it to the middle. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. The Predators looking against the half wall. Cut the slot and puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. Talk about sacrifice. What a block. Nashville's got the puck along the boards. The home team is really under siege here in the right end. Oh, what a save! And there's the whistle. Officials hand up high, signaling a penalty. Charles reads those cross crease attempts so well, but guys, it's his lateral that allows him to get across to make the stop. We call that his post-to-post -post zone ability. Hammers the shot! Great stop by Seros! The Kraken have taken possession along the wall. 
Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Nashville's been disrupting play all night long, and this is because of their stick position. You have to find ways to be aware and anticipate where that puck is going to be going. Doing a great job, but this is still a close one. They've got to find a way to generate some offense. In. They used their speed on this counter attack and gave themselves an odd man advantage here, James. And what they did was they capitalized. They had multiple looks. They could pass it, they could shoot it. Goaltender couldn't figure it out, and it winds up in the back of the net. Seattle's coaches wanted a lot of shots on net, and the team has delivered so far, leading late in the first. Final minute approaching here in this opening frame. Reaches out and uses the stick. From one end of the blue line to the other. Strong defensive effort. Right up Main Street and on the attack. Fires it! And it doesn't reach the net because it goes off a stick. There's the horn. Still 40 more minutes left in regulation time. We'll get to the second period right after this. Willamette's Recycling is a proud sponsor of tonight's game. Willamette's Recycling recycles enough paper to save more than 41 million trees. If you'd like to know more about your services, check it out. And we are just moments away from the start of period number two. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? Seattle's had a great start to this game. They found a way to be aggressive on the puck, but most importantly, they've got an attack mentality when it comes to shooting the puck. Shot! Great save from in tight. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. There's the whistle. We've got an offside. Seattle's got the lead on the scoreboard. A big reason to that has been the amount of pucks that they've been putting on net. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Grubauer's gonna slow it down here and hang on for the whistle. Well, a good decision right there to dictate the tempo of the game, especially when he hasn't been busy. He's engaging right now. We're still in the early stages of this period. Seattle's got a 3-1 lead. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And he takes the feed. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Larson's came the line and on the attack. And he slides it quickly to Dunn. Oh, that save! Tremendous agility there by Seros. Great reach with the poke check by Dunn. Seattle's got possession of the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Larson. Here's a short pass to Schwartz. Dunn's got it along the wing. Moves it quickly over to Shen. Handles the puck. Takes a bump but hangs on. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Nashville's on the attack. Takes a shot. Nice save from point blank range. Whistle goes. We'll get a reset after I think the officials lost sight of it. Seattle's message was clear coming into this one. Lots of shots on net. And they lead here in this second. The Predators win the draw. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Nashville's got the puck. Oh, and a great heads up play to force the turnover by Gould. Sends the pass over. Oh, stopped it! What a save on the play! And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. They have to have talent, they have to have mobility, they have to be able to track the puck, but they have to have a willingness to find it and fight for any second shot, and that's exactly what happens here. Out battling, out willing, and you make the save. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. 
3-1 is where we're sitting. Fans being treated to a lot of offense thus far. Bears has got possession. Let's see what they can do with it now. Oh, this is the end. What a chance there. Oh, it was a great chance and one that he will want back. The puck is all around him, though. If he continues to get to the right spots at the right time, you got to figure he's going to put one by the tendy. One-timer. Stones him on the play. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Nashville's got the puck here in the open ice. Works it across to McCann. Seattle's ready to go on the attack. Nyquist got it in the defensive end. Quick pass to Forsberg. From the point, looks to make something happen. To the low slot. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Stopped by the goaltender. Taken along the wall by Borkin. Seattle's got it in their own zone. Here they come up along the wing. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. From center, they get into the attacking area. The Predators will play it against the boards. Now a quick pass to Yossi. Look out! Oh, a clutch save! It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time, he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Stars and look who's at it again. They are really turning up the heat. Uh, so creative and free. And the reason why you can play free because you're playing with a ton of confidence, not afraid to put the puck to the net and, of course, retrieve it. Well, he's in tight to the net, James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. The Kraken have been absolute savages on the puck tonight here, Cheryl. And, I mean, look at the score here. We're still in the second. Yeah, they've got the healthy lead, and their opponent has no answer. Anything that they throw at them, they just come back with a counter punch. I mean, they've been unbelievable and dominant tonight. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Nashville's got a hold of the puck now. Quick feed to Dunn. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. Still has possession. Battle along the boards. Along the half wall with the puck. Moves it to Evangelista. Passes the puck over to Korianov. Well, there you go. Two periods down. One more to go, at least for now, right? Third period just around the corner. Fans, tonight, the home team one is dropping $50 I won't be surprised to see the 1-3-1 one, one again. They had success on it earlier, James. And listen, I love this. I coach this with my team because I love the bumper spot and I love the net front player. You're taking away the eyes of the goaltender, but he can also pop out below the goal line and present as an option. So multiple variations that can strike. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And they get the puck out of the zone, and that's a break for the squad. Oh, yeah, this PK unit, they're out there for a reason, James. You have to be able to clear the puck, and it's easier said than done, but they make no mistake this time. Great heads up play with the stick by Alexiak. Moves the puck into the D zone. The Predators have it now, and tries to make a diagonal pass to all alone. Play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Veneers gets set for the face-off here as they will continue to play shorthanded. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. And a strong effort on that play. Grubauer's had a solid night between the pipes, James. I mean, he's done everything he could to stop the puck, as indicated by his save percentage. But his team has also been really strong. Got the confidence of their netminder, and they've created a ton of opportunities. Schwartz is back on the ice. Not much rest for him, as he is creating a majority of the momentum for his team tonight. Real gifted offensively. A lot of traction in the offensive zone. And that's knocked away by O'Reilly. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Grubauer. 
Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. And that one's turned away. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Feeds it on over to O'Reilly. Gains the zone from the right. Jostled off the puck. The Kraken have possession along the boards. And that slides right out to center ice. The Predators ready to go on the attack. And he turns that one aside. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Seattle's been the better team, and the scoreboard shows it. 4-1 is where we sit. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. Here's a chance. Oh, wow, stops him in. I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. Let's the wrister fly. Oh, the save. Oh, my goodness, what a star. Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. And look at this, these fans are starting to get on their feet to recognize what an incredible save we just witnessed. Yeah, he made an incredible one, didn't he? And, and you gotta embrace it when they're on their feet in support of you, because you know you hear boos often when you let a bad one in. So embrace it, and you can tell that he's feeling it right now. For point blank! Oh, big time save by Grubauer! We got a penalty coming up here on the play. Quick shot! There's the whistle, and here's the call. And I just had a gander at the bench and the energy and the body language. I mean, they're defeated, James, and now they have to kill off another penalty down a bunch of goals. It's a tough one. They'll go back to work on their special teams. They've already scored on the power play tonight, James, and if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. The coach has got them all ready to go fired up. They've worked endlessly on this setup. And man, is it working tonight. Here's a short pass to Sissons. Shot! Well saved made by Grubauer. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Sissons and company still shorthanded here as they get ready for the face-off. And they win the defensive zone face-off. Bjorkstrand's gaining momentum. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Sent into the offensive zone. Scrum along the boards. And that's off a stick. Seattle's got it behind the net. Picked up along the boards by Schwartz. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Moves it quickly over to Bjorkstrand. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. And he moves it up to Bjorkstrand. Unable to reach that one. Moves the puck. And he takes the dish. Puts it on net, and he's got that one. And it's a quick pass to Lozon. Being on the power play is a privilege. Trust me, I know I was never on it, always on the PK. So for those players who didn't execute, yes, they had a comfortable lead, and some would say it's not a big deal, but each and every... He scores! What a beautiful play as they catch their opponent flat-footed on transition, and they create the numerical advantage. Odd man rush, perfectly executed. Speed, puck movement, and of course, finish. The Kraken haven't looked this sharp offensively in quite some time, and they continue to attack in the third. Yeah, there's been no letdown at all. They've continued to be urgent on the puck and find ways to open lanes to get the puck to the net. This has been a great entertaining game, James. Can't hang on after that hit. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Scores! We'll talk about a friendly feed right there. So what do you do, James? I mean, your starting goaltender is out of the net. Your relievers come in and it's just gotten peppered. Now you got to look to one another and say, man, what do we do next? There isn't a third goaltender. Guess what? The team has to pony up, be accountable in front of them. 
Seattle's added yet another one here to the total tonight. What a performance. Yeah, they've had the puck on their stick for a majority of this game. You know the coaching staff is going to be impressed. Hey, maybe they'll get the day off tomorrow. Puck grab by Alexiak. Quick pass to Wenberg. Takes the puck. Picked up along the wall by Wenberg. Quick feed to Borgen. Oh, can't get it to go. Well, and it's a good scoring chance. It's a quick release shot, but unable to convert. Moves it ahead from off the wall. The Kraken have the puck in their own zone. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Oh, what a blocker stop by Lankinen. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Check in with our own Carlin Bade. Who had the better night in that head-to-head -head matchup with the Stars? <laughs> Yossi's worked hard, and even though he hasn't got on the scoreboard, I've liked his game, guys. I'm giving him the edge here. Yossi's moving the puck through his own zone. Fires it on net, and that banks off a stick. We got a whistle, penalty coming up. This is ugly. You're down by a bunch of goals at the end of the game, and you take another penalty deflating, but you have to be careful not to take one that's gonna cost you for the next game. Another power play opportunity coming up here. Having success earlier on the power play, they recognize where the openings have been. But what I love about it is they're not afraid to change it up. The motion on this power play and these sequences have really been the reason they've been successful. That's blocked by Grubauer. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Glass is ready for the faceoff as they'll continue to kill off this penalty. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Turn that one aside. Less than a minute to go now here in regulation. Moves it to the middle. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Dumps it into the O-zone. Angles it over to Everly. Seattle's playing it through the neutral zone. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Sherwood. Glass brings it in. Slittering feed! And that goes off the body and a ride. Great four check by Sherwood. Here's a chance behind the net. Poked away in the defensive end. That's all she wrote from this one. Sure, this is a funny one because it looked like they were overwhelmed in many cases in this one, but they just seem to be opportunistic. Well, sometimes you're outplayed or you're outmatched, but you have the right opportunities. Why? They transitioned the puck quickly and they got some numerical advantage. And when they had it, they capitalized. Well, that brings the night to an end, and we will say goodbye here from Rinkside from all of us here at EA Sports. My name is James Sabalski. I gotta get to bed. See ya.